Hey everyone, this is Naurin and welcome back to a new session of English with me. Did you see, isn't this a very good atmosphere today? It's very cool and breezy and you know, it's really nice. It gives us a positive energy to talk and to enjoy learning. And that is why I'm standing outside today. I want to talk with you all in this cool atmosphere. When did you start learning English? Where did you start learning English? What is the reason to learn English? How much did you spend to learn English? See, there are a lot of question words in English. Which, where, what, why, when, you know, a lot of them. Today, let's look at this question words. Let's see how to learn this question words in English easily. Today, we are going to check out the six most commonly used question words in English. That is, who, what, where, when, why, how. Repeat it along with me. Who, what, where, when, why, how. So, how to learn this question words easily? What is the purpose of each word? You know, where to use which word? I'll give you some easy tricks and tips to understand those. Let's start with our first word, who. W-H-O. Who. Who is used to inquire about a person. Like, who is your best friend? Or, who is there standing behind me? Who broke that chair? So, who is always used to inquire about a person? Who is related to person? The next one is what. What? W-H-A-T. What? What is your name? That's a common question. So, you might know what means what. What is always used to ask about something? What is your favorite color? What is your name? What is your father's name? What are they doing there? Oh, see? So, what is always used to ask about? Something. The next word is where. W-H-E-R-E. -E, where. Where is used to ask about a place or location. Where is the grocery? Where are you from? Hey, where are you? I'm waiting for you. So, where is used to ask about a place. Also, we ask about places like, where is my spectacles? See, it is asking where it is a place, where is my spectacles kept. Now, the next one is when. W-H-E-N. When. When is related to time. When is the train leaving? When is your birthday? When will you applaud this video? They told it will rain today, but I don't think so. I'm imagining when will it rain. So, when is related to time. The next word is why. W-H-Y. Why. Why is used to ask for the reason or cause. Like, why did you leave early yesterday? Why did you choose this career? Why are you standing outside today? Why are you talking from another place today? Why is to ask for a cause or reason. The next word is how. It is used to inquire about the manner or method. Like, how do we solve this math problem? How did you learn to play the guitar? How did you become so bold to go outside and talk in front of people? Actually, I'm wondering how did I do that? I'm actually surprised. You know, I started coming out of my comfort zone and I'm so happy for myself. You know, I can actually stand in front of real people and talk now. I think I just slipped away from our topic. You know what? We completed all our six question words. That's all. It's so simple. Who, what, where, when, why and how. 
That's all about the question words. Now I'll give you a tip to learn this question words easily. First, you need to understand the type of information. Identify the information type, like what you actually want to ask about. Let's just summarize what we have already learned. Let's look at each of the question word. Who? It is used to talk about person. When you want to ask about thing, event or an action, you have to use what. What. To talk about a place or location, you should use where. For time, you should use when. For reason or cause, you should use why. For manner or method, you should use how. So this is the summary of how you should use the question words. Just memorize this summary so that it will be easy for you to use the words. You know what then you have to do? You have to create simple sentences that you can relate to your everyday life. I always say this, you should relate it to your everyday life. So create a simple sentence. Also, if you find it difficult, just visualize the scenario. What do you want to ask about? Just picture the elements involved and imagining it mentally can actually lead us to the right question word. Or just create a simple story and relate those words. Like, let's talk about a delivery guy standing outside your door. He rang the bell and you will be thinking in your head like, who is it? Our first word, talking about a person. Who is it? So you went there and opened the door and you saw a delivery guy and he handed a package to you. And you'll be like, what is it? Right? You don't know what it is. It. So what is it? To ask something about a thing, you'll be like, what is it? Thinking like, what is it? And then you imagine who actually sent you this package and you'll be searching like, where is it from? Right? Where is it from? You can also imagine like, who is it from? You're looking, who sent you this package? Who is it from? And then you're checking, where is it from? The place. To talk about place, we use where. So you found it is from your father and then you felt amazed. Why did he send you a gift? Why? You need a reason. So why did he send you a package? And now what you did is you placed the package aside. You took your phone and rang your father. When did you plan this surprise? So you're asking your dad, you need a time. When did you do it? I didn't know about it. When did you do it? And you're continuing your conversation. How did you do it? Because it's surprising. I did not have any clue about it. How did you do it? So imagine a scenario, create a scenario and relate it and learn from it. So guys, this is all about the question words that can help you improve your fluency in English. You know, we can use question words a lot in our everyday life. So start using those words. So my dear people, this is all for today. I'll be back with a new video soon. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Bye.